Annoy the hell out of your opponent with this five play mini scheme. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the, the uh, subscribe button and also that notification icon so you can get my regular uploads. Alright, so guys, I want to talk about um, a formation um, that was requested by one of my patrons. Uh, he wanted me to break down a scheme for him. Um, I took a peek at this uh, uh, probably about a month ago, and now I came back to it. And um, I, I wanted to make some adjustments to some of these plays, but we're really I, I decided to run a lot of these plays fairly stock. Now, um, this is going to be a, a running scheme and, and also a passing scheme, and we're going to make a couple of subs. Now, you can find this out of the Tennessee Titans playbook and also the Los Angeles Rams playbook, too. So uh, it is a single back, double south, so that's where you can find these. All right, so uh, this is going to be the single back, double south. And one of the things I like to do is I like to take my best uh, catching traffic receiver, my best receiver, and put him in the slot position. So we're going to go ahead and just flip our, our controller. I uh, put uh, uh, basically our best receiver, which is going to be 12, um, and actually in the slot position. So we're going to keep flipping that. So right there we got 12 in the slot position. Now, with our audibles, we're going to make some changes. First and foremost, stick. I want to go and switch that out for the dig and up. Uh, this is a play I'm going to run stock. Uh, the flanker spot uh, is going to be replaced with bench. And the play action doubles cross, I'm going to switch that out with the play action Y drag wheel. Now, uh, the play I'm going to call out of the, out of the uh, huddle is going to be the halfback zone. Uh, our run plays, I don't really want to go into great detail about the run, but uh, as you can see, the offensive line actually gets a very good push um, against uh, the computer, and it'll give you an opportunity to go ahead and get a nice little uh, angle run to go and pick some pretty good yards. But uh, the Green Bay's defense in this game is a little bit better uh, than it, it should be. And they get really good block sheds against screen, uh, against the Bears in this set. But what I really like about this play is I can easily flip it. I've got an extra blocker with the tight end out off the right-hand side. So I, I can attack my opponent on either side of the field if he starts really settling in. And then the final thing is I get a nice little inside run with the dive that I can attack my opponent with. So just for the sake of playing against all Madden, I want to show you how the coverages work uh, and not really the run plays uh, per se because you can see these guys are just block shedding off my blockers. Now against man blitzes, basically uh, we're going to be looking at these following passing plays: uh, digging up, bench, and then the uh, the Y drag wheel. Now uh, digging up is actually going to be a play that I'm probably going to jump into a lot, and the reason why is that you're going to be able to go and hit your opponent in the seam with a fast pass play uh, with this uh, digging up. So if you got a guy that does a lot of aggressive man blitzes, you can get easy get easy completions. Uh, with his pass play. So uh, really what you want to do is just look for the void. The defender's not in an area. You're going to be able to get an easy 10-yard, 15-yard uh, completion if you catch it and run with it. So that's what I do like about it. All the other play, all the other routes uh, take a really long time. You've got the out and up, uh, but I would take the seam route um, with a good pass play. Now uh, with, uh, with any kind of a guy that's doing a lot of aggressive blitzes. Now the next play would be bench. And I thought about different ways to run this. Uh, first and foremost, what I'm going to do is I'm going to block my uh, my offensive line and my, my um, tight end and my running back. I'll do that by hitting the left uh, uh, the left bumper button and pushing up the max protect because it's just it doesn't count as an adjustment. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to streak up Robinson and then I'm going to take Burton on my tight end and actually put him on a drag route. And I've got levels off the left hand side. My primary read is going to be Burton and if a defender floats down the Burton, Gabriel should be open in the corner and then I've got uh, uh, Miller on the back end side. But I'm really looking to Burton uh, because he's going to be the guy that's actually going to beat a lot of those man pressures uh, for me. So uh, once again, let's just go ahead and jump into that. Very, very fast adjustment. I have the block and release, but uh, Burton is going to be my hot read. And what's cool about it is I'm, I'm actually, uh, he's going to get a free release nine out of ten times with this particular play uh, because he's a, he's a, a, a tight end. And I'll 
be able to go ahead and get uh, a pretty easy completion right there. So just got a little block shed right there. But uh, as you can see, it's, it, that's going to be the place you want to go with it. Now, play action wide drag wheel is not necessarily the best play uh, to use against someone who's doing a lot of heavy man blitzes. The only adjustment I like to do is I like to go and take Gabriel's route, and I like to put him on a drag on the back on side because I want him to get out of uh, uh, across the field quicker to open things up so uh, you can see I've got the backside uh, re release that I can go ahead and do a man blitzer so the combination between these two uh, two concepts is going to force your opponent to go ahead and kind of pick his choke poison if he's a very aggressive man blitzer so let's just go ahead and see that no one carried with him so I'm able to go pick up some good yards opportunity with the play action wide drag uh, which can be a huge opportunity is going to be Burton's route uh, and if you get the blocking to set up he's actually going to go ahead and get you a huge completion down the middle of the field so that's another area of the field that you want to look at against your opponent so either whether he's playing uh, a blitz with a man or playing uh, just strict man coverage uh, Robinson route is another area you can look to too he should get pretty good separation but that's going to be playing right in the middle of the field so your opponent might be using that area so I would probably go with a combination of either one of the two routes uh, either Gabriel or Burton uh, that way because you're playing off the sidelines and your opponent has to kind of pick his poison in which direction he wants to go. But a guy that runs a lot of cover too, well that seam route is going to be taken out by defender, but you've also, but you've got these, these uh, block and release uh, routes that actually will get wide open for you. So this is going to be an area that you want to look to if the defender floats in the, uh, in the area. And also you've got this big play opportunity with the with the crosser on the back end side. So uh, the deep defender does not play that crosser. So if you got an opponent that, that runs a lot of cover two, you can keep checking down uh, to those underneath routes and then pop them with a big route up top. So let's just see if we don't get a, a massive block shed because it seems this uh, team just seems to be eating up my line. Also, if you get fairly good uh, blocking, what's going to happen is this route should open up on the backhand side so you can look for this route as an area that you can attack your opponent with uh, if he if your opponent really starts spamming cover too. Now uh, bench uh, is going to be another great play that you can go ahead and use against a cover two spammer. Once again we're attacking off to the flat. The defender doesn't fall on the flat. Once again we're just going to go ahead and pop it into that. And against cover two this is where things get really fun. You've also got this corner route that you can actually get a huge completion with, uh, that uh, that you can open the open up the ball the ball with against uh, against your opponent. So, uh, if he starts cheating on on that um, on that drag route underneath, you got the deep corner that you can pop him with. If you just wait it wait for it to develop, and you're going to get big completions down in the corner. Now, the next play we're going to take a look at is going to be the play action Y drag wheel, and we're going to go ahead and drag up Gabriel, and what you have is this little crossing route right here that can give you an opportunity to get a huge play against your opponent. So that's what I do like about it if the defenders don't bite down on it. But um, that play is not going to be a play I'm going to go ahead and run too much against cover two uh, because a lot of times what happens is the mid-read defender will follow Robinson across the field. So I'm really going to be jumping in this play against cover three and cover four. This is a guy that runs a lot of cover three. The first area we're going to look to is Robinson. And uh, I've got a, a check and release that I can go and drop the ball down to. So if the defenders float up, that's going to be the area that you want to go and look to. Now, uh, the other route uh, is also Gabriel's route. So it's like uh, it's a little wheel route that does a corner, then comes back with a deep post. That route takes a long time to develop. So what you want to do is you want to try to abuse your opponent with this little pop route. Uh, with If he's running a lot of cover three, that's going to be your first area that you want to go and look to. Uh, just because if you've got a good Good possession catch you can be able to pick up a good nine yards with that and just keep your opponent back into the box against you so that's what's cool about it and then uh, obviously in tight so here's where this crossing route will open back up for you so if your opponent starts playing down in the box to take away that crosser you can just wait for that deep crosser to come uh, come over the side so once again um, let's see here we've got uh, basically check downs that we drop the ball down to our opponent if the defenders float up so that's what I do like about this you're gonna play it's it's pretty effectively against cover uh, cover three. Everybody does a lot of man blitzes, and this play could be extremely annoying to stop uh, if he's trying to protect the sidelines. 
Now, uh, bench, once again, we're going to run this the same way as we did before. Basically, three quick adjustments, count as two. Uh, we're going to take Robinson's slice. A streak came up, got Gabriel on that, that, that corner route, and I got Burton. And we're going to look below. I want to go and establish that flat on the back end side. So I want him to freaking have to defend that. So if he jumps into cover two, that should open up that corner for you a little bit later. So you see a corner actually coming down and playing that area. Uh, that's because uh, you, he actually had to defend that flat. So, But settle for the flat because if you're picking up 10 yards on a fast flat route, you're going to be beating your opponent the entire time. So um, with the, the final play is going to be play action wide drag. We're going to go ahead and take Gable. We're going to drag him up. And we're going to look high low. And a lot of times what's going to happen, this is where you're going to get your huge play is against cover three is going to be that deep crosser. So if defenders fall down to the, uh, to the, the, to the drag route, uh, you're just going to go and pop him up top uh, with the crossing route. So that's what's cool about it. Also, you've got that. the So here, look at this. Look, look at how, how many yards you're picking. A good 30 yards right there. So uh, the out and up route really is going to break a lot of man coverages, which is going to be that red route by Burton. So all we're doing is we're just looking high low uh, with this, uh, either dropping it down to Burton or actually going to go ahead and go high. So, But you can see this play is designed uh, to basically go ahead and get that wide, that wide receiver on the back side wide open uh, with this play. So uh, you, you probably don't want to run this play too much against your opponent if he's a cover three spammer uh, because he's going to basically pick up a tendency. As you can see right here, you can, you, you can pick up a good 25 yards to so something you can jump into. All right, so what if your opponent is a cover four spammer? Let's just go into our base quick, quick hike play. We're going to leave it stock. Look right here. So we've got the little uh, check and release. And right here, ball was overthrown, but you can see he actually beat his man right there with cover four. So that's actually going to be a nice little hot route that you can pop against your opponent. You've got uh, the check down that you can pop to your opponent too. And what's cool about this particular play is that you're going to get that opportunity for that one play touchdown. Uh, against your opponent if he runs in cover four. So if he tries to go ahead and start spamming with cover four, this will open up. All you have to do is just look at, at the safety. Look at this safety right here, and if he doesn't support that route, if he doesn't fall back, you know you should probably have some pretty good inside position. This this wide receiver is not that fast. So if you've got a burning wide receiver on this side, he's actually going to make a huge play for you, make, some big, uh, make you a big opportunity for a touchdown. Now what about bench? Uh, well, bench, same look as before. Once again, let's attack the flats against our opponent. And that's going to be the area that you want to go attack. Also, you get those one-on-one -on -one matches. So here's another opportunity to go and attack your opponent in a corner. So cover four has got all these a lot of matching principles. Uh, so it is an opportunity for you to uh, basically consider it as, as basically man coverage. So if you got your if you got your hot reads down for man coverage, you're going to be able to go and beat your opponent with cover four too. Uh, cover four against the play action Y drag wheel. Uh, once again, we're going to go ahead and drag up Gabriel. That's going to be one of our fast hot reads. As you can see, nobody's around him, and I'm able to go ahead and pick up an easy first down uh, first down against him underneath. So going to set this up again. Uh, another matching principle is going to be the tight end route. And right there, just a missed pass, but you can see how wide open he was. Let's try it again. And right here, wide open. This is a one-play touchdown against cover four. So, guys, I hope you like these tips. Once again, I, I really appreciate uh, my help, and this is this is uh, for you guys for watching my channel and to my patrons. Uh, if you do like these type of tips and these these uh, multi multiplay mini schemes, make sure you go and hit the uh, the like button. And to uh, my Patreon members, thank you once again for your feedback. I really appreciate it. And I hope this uh, scheme helps you uh, with your gameplay uh, moving forward. So once again, thank you for your support. And until next time.